Hi, my name is Beverly Parker, and I'm the librarian at the Tishomingo Public Library, a part of the Northeast Regional Library System in Mississippi. Today, I'm reading Snail and Slug, written and illustrated by Denny's Gazette. I'm reading with permission from Athenian Books for Young Readers. Snail sat in the cool shade by the edge of a small creek. Phew, she said, it's hot today. Tell me about it, said Slug. Any hotter and I look like I've been sizzled in a bowl of salt. Snail looked around. Where are you? Up here, called Slug, under this leaf. Slug peeped out. At least you have a house to crawl into. Look at me. Nothing. I don't even have a pocket. Snail felt sorry for Slug. Would you like to come into my house for a cold drink? Slug snared at Snail's shell. Yes, she said, but... Snail smiled. Oh, don't worry. My house is bigger than it looks. Snail pulled in her head. She pulled in her tail. Come on in, she called. The door is open. Snail was waiting in the kitchen. Please, she said, sit down. Snail poured some iced tea into two tall glasses. Cheers, says Snail. Cheers, says Slug. Your house is bigger than it looks, Slug remarked. You can't always judge a book by its cover, says Snail. She put the empty glasses in the dishwasher. Snail and Slug sat on a cozy sofa. Slug noticed a picture on the wall. Who is that? She asked. Oh, says Snail. That was Mr. Snail. He was eaten by a robin. Slug gasped. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, replied Snail. You just never know. No, you never do. Mr. Slug was eaten by a toad. This is my bedroom, says Snail. I like it dark and damp. Me too, agreed Slug. Snail showed Slug another bedroom. Do you like the wallpaper? I glued it myself. Lovely, says Slug. And this is the library, Snail announced. Do you have a favorite book? I'm not a very good reader, Slug admitted, but I'm a great cook. I'm not a very good snail, but I'm a very good reader. I saw some water lettuce by the creek, says Slug. I'll make you lunch. We'll go on a picnic, says Snail. She took a picnic basket out of the cupboard. After lunch, I'll read you a story. Wait here, she said, opening another door. I'll be right back. Where are you going? To the cellar. We need something nice to drink. Snail and Slug sat on a mossy rock by the edge of the creek. Slug looked at Snail. What is it? Snail asked. When you are out of your house, says Slug, you look like me. Must be cousins, says Snail. Slug opened the picnic basket. Oh, Slug, what's wrong? There's a salt shaker in there. I know. Be careful, warned Snail. Slug picked some water lettuce and put it in a bowl. While she added a little of this and a little of that, she sang a salad song. I'm making a salad while singing a ballad for my new friend Snail and me. Song is delicious, the salad nutritious. May I pour you some red berry tea? Very nice, says Snail. It would be better with a piano, suggested Slug. Salad? Please, says Snail. It looks yummy. It does, snarled a big banana slug. His eyes, his name was Four Eyes. What do you want, Snail asked. 
Your lettuce or your life, growled four eyes. Pinch snail. Give it or you'll be the first to go, snail. No, begged snail. Please, no. Slug reached into the picnic basket and pulled out the salt shaker. Leave snail alone, she demanded. Four eyes glared at Slug. What is that? It's a salt shaker, cried Slug, and I'm not afraid to use it. Four eyes scuffed. Ha! I don't believe you. Slug sprinkled a little salt on Four eyes tail. His tail began to fizz and his bottom began to foam. Yeah! I've been sizzled! He jumped into the creek and wiggled in the cool water. The two new friends sat in Snail's living room. Snail served red berry tea. You are very brave, she said. Oh, said Slug, that's what friends do. Slug, may I ask you something? Of course. Well, my house is big and you don't even have a pocket. I was wondering, would you like to share my house? May I do the cooking? Every day, says Snail, and after dinner, I'll read you a story. And after that, says Slug, I'll sing you a new song. And play the piano, added Snail. Slug looked around the room. Snail, she said, I don't see a piano. Upstairs, says Snail, in the attic. Thank you for joining me and come back next time for another fun story time. Join the branches of the Northeast Regional Library this summer as we celebrate the 2023 Summer Reading Program theme, All Together Now. This year's theme is all about friendships, teamwork, unity, and diversity. We'll also be recognizing the people that make our community great. The fun will begin in June and continue through the end of July.